Welcome, ladies and gentle steppers, to another report of Season 5's Seasonal Guild League Board. We track the top 25 guilds in game for the season, and we break it down into five different tiers. And then, at the very end, we give a little preview of the tier 2 that we like to call it, showing who may or may not bust in in the top 25 next week. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this one. Uh, we will scroll down here, and I will zoom in properly. Now that it, we're on this side. Now, Celestial Tier. What is going on with all these arrows? Uh, first place, we have Factory Reset. If you don't know who it is, well, you've been living under a rock. Because that's the new Rain Factory. Uh, after Rain Factory went bye-bye. Number two is TSL. Moving down one position. Uh, because they got kicked down by Factory Reset. Uh, th number three is The Forest. Also moving down one position, obviously. The only one who did not move down one position is still friendly too, moving up one position into that fourth place. And then Dead Poet Society holding on to that fifth place position as a top tier PvE guild like no other. What are your thoughts here? Yeah, I mean, obviously everything's skewed from Factory Reset being reset into the SGL, so. Yeah. That's pretty much what it's going to look like today. And actually, someone in the comments on one of our videos was like, can't wait to see all the red arrows yep. this week. So uh, here we are. Uh, but yeah, Still Friendly 2 is the only one fighting against the uh, the shift. So good yep. for them, I guess. Which Whichever one they are. But yeah. Um, we can look at Earn real quick. So Earned, sure. obviously FR is skewed. <laughs> but TSL are earning almost 10 mil. The Force earn, om literally almost earning 10 mil. Uh, and we got Soul Friendly 2 with 11 mil earn, the high, well, maybe the highest, uh, I, uh, you can't really tell that far here, but the highest that we can see that's not skewed. Right. And then DPS earning 7.6 mil, so not bad at all for them. Absolutely crushing across the board. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next tier, which is our legendary tier. 6th to 10th place positions, friendly has actually dropped down three positions and knocked into the legendary tier. They're no longer celestial tier guild. Uh, they, but they are leading the pack considerably, almost double uh, of what the next position, which is Wolf Blood, uh, in the seventh place position. Then eighth is Prostor, ninth is Murderers of the Universe, and tenth is Shadow Garden. Uh, so the only one here in this tier that really had any type of movement was Friendly, and they dropped down two positions realistically. Yeah, so uh, I can't remember who got knocked out, but I guess we're going to find out. But Friendly earned 6.7 mil. Wolf Blood earning 4.3. Woof, woof. And then we have Prostar with 3.7. Uh, Murder of the Universe earning 2.5. And Shao Garden, earn, uh, Garden <laughs> earning 3.5. So, yeah, interesting. Ugh. Oh, that's who got knocked down. Yeah, I just, I don't think that Friendly, uh, Wolf Blood or. 7th through 10th are ever going to catch up to Friendly. They're, the gap is too big already. I think mm. that Friendly will stay in the Legendary tier as a number one, or maybe potentially fight back into Celestial, but they won't move down further than 6. They'll be the opinion. gatekeepers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Being being in Wolf Blood, I know for a fact that no one's carrying as much as I am, so it's unfortunate. Oh, I'm sure. Just... I'm sure that's the case. Yeah. All right, epic tier. We have 11th through 15th place positions. We have Asgard in 11th. 12th is the Knights of Usayi. 13th, Heaven and Hell. 14th is Resolve. And finally, 15th is Italia, uh, holding on to that 15th place position. So congrats to everyone here. Basically, no movement. Um, just another day in the Epic tier. Yeah, but Asgard's now number 11. Uh, they earn 4.2 mil. Yi earned 1.4. Heaven and Hell earning 1.6. Resolve earning 1.8. And then Italia earning 1.6. So it's just crazy the... The amount of EXP earned is way different than Legendary tier uh, for what it is right now for the current stage of the summer SGL. Uh, but Asgard is the only one here earning Legendary, um, a Legendary tier amount of EXP. So, yeah. But everyone's kind of really floating low here. Yeah. From what I'm used to. Absolutely. Seeing. All right, let's move on to the Elite tier here at 16th through 20th positions. You have Golden Arrows in 16th, Wolf in 17th, Zelth Zenith Kitties in 18th, TPC, otherwise known as the Peaceful Crusade, in 19th, and Bloodlust, who have just transitioned into PvP as of Tuesday um, in that 20th place position. So maybe we'll see them crawl up the leaderboard. 
Yeah, I think Bloodlust is coping right now. So, Golden Arrows uh, earning 1.4. This is the weakest we've seen Golden Arrows, I, I think, to date. We have Wolf earning 1.4. We have ZCK earning one point, almost 1.5. We have TPC earning 1.3 and Bloodlust 1.1. Uh, I see Silver's in chat, so I'm, I'm hardcore messing with him. I'm actually in that Discord, and I'm always messing with this dude. It's so fun. I, I miss him so much, I just, I just you know, shit on him all the time. But anyway, yeah, uh, very, again, they're, this tier and the tier above are earning pretty much this. They're on par with earning EXP. It's going to be interesting. At, like, guilds are going to have to break away with a huge push right to you because they're almost all same same so it, it's going to take a lot here yeah like for instance like bloodless is going to have to like hire tansy again and shoot above tpc which isn't hard to do i i would think but yeah all right yeah our assassin right. was in chat <laughs> move on to the rare tier the last tier here we actually have a few <laughs> green arrows uh but 21st place is newbies alpha and omega <laughs> Stay still in 22nd place position. Murder of Crows dropping down two and into the 23rd. Cold of Eternal Ice showing up lately out of the tier two system, moving up one position. And Sorrow Keep, which is a brand new guild about two or three weeks ago, showing up on the top 25 leaderboard and absolutely embarrassing everyone below them uh, for the, how much they're grinding. So, congrats to Sorrow Keep and look at that cat paw right there. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> There it is. Yep. Vex stolen art. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, they've been on the last two weekly guild, um, ser like the the weekly guild stats videos you've been doing. So yeah, uh, I and I said this. I said this last or actually yesterday. I was like, they have a cool name buff right now. Yeah, like, they are they are just powerhousing. But yeah, Ubi, <laughs> Ubi's Ubi. Oh uh, yeah, let's make a guild name. Ugh. Newbies earning one point two mil. Alpha and Omega only earning half a mil, almost 600k. Murder of the Crows, who were were holding the 21st position, they were the top of rare tier, are now down with 300k earned. And then Cult of Eternal Ice, 1.9 mil earned, which is more than the next tier above has been earning on a regular basis. Uh, but they they breached the SGL last update, so it's really good to see that they're still here. Because there could be a fluctuation, and then Sorrow Keep, like Crazy Five said, busting in with 1.8, almost 1.9 mil earned, uh, two positions forward, just tearing through the tier two. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and move into the tier two system, real fast. Okay. All right, Let I'll blaze us through this. here, um, and I'll just talk about the the positions. Uh, so at so for those of you who don't know, tier two. Uh, this is the 26th through 35th position. We have eyes on this to watch, you know, keep an eye out for new guilds, to watch where guilds are floating down when they leave the SGL, and to see who could be next in line to breach the SGL. So in 26, we have Afterglow, who were in the SGL uh, just last last update. They were now pushed down, but they're still earning good. They almost earned a million XP here. We have Seppin Show at 27, getting pushed down four positions, so... Uh, they moved forward and then they did <laughs> they got hit down uh some between last update and this update we have first gen black dragon who got knocked down two positions they were the top of the tier two last update and now they're at 28 we have the colt at 29 gakuto was leading the colt they were almost next to nothing and now gakuto has moved on uh i can't remember where they went <laughs> but they just said it in chat somewhere where did gakuto go but he's he's not in the cult anymore. I think it's it's a it's a sinking ship. Grow the wizards. Uh, they floated down to number thirty at thirty one. We have Helheim, which is like H and H's little brother. I actually don't know. It's just it reminds me of H and H. They have the same icon. They are super <laughs> old legacy guild that's come back. Yeah, and but they moved forward. They're the one green arrow here. Uh, and then we have House of Bamboozle at tw uh, thirty two. We have thirty three. We have Blackwater. They didn't earn any exp, so they're going to be floating out. Uh, of tier two um and i guess i saw sin he's still around but i guess blackwater is officially dead and then vulpinia which was blazing beasts uh they're drop they're continuing to drop they've been on a downward uh trajectory that's vex's guild and then at 35 dante's infernal room which has been kind of flowing around tier two uh looks like they're about to be knocked out as well so there yeah. we are with tier two um 
No crazy new names. I mean, Sorrow's Keep was the new name, but they blasted through Tier 2. So <laughs> Yeah, they didn't stick around very long. They're yeah. like, see ya, losers. Yep. Uh, but if you want to lead it into the VOD squad real quick. Yeah, of course I could do that. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the SGL report for Season 5. I just want to thank Yomu again for giving a facelift. The There's a lot of really cool design pieces to it, like the highlighting in red across everything that you click on. I think that's absolutely phenomenal. And if you don't know who Yomu is, he's a co-dev of Idle MMO, game admin of Simple MMO, and the owner of the Simple MMO App Hub, which is an amazing mobile simulator that you could play and just have global chat out even uh, while you're on your computer. And it has Patreon tiers in case you would like to support, which we definitely recommend you do. Uh, but that will conclude that the, the segment for the SGL. Appreciate it for all those who are watching now. Thank you for being here. And for all those who are going to see this in the VOD, thank you so much for your support and uh, have a good one. Yeah, thank you, VOD Squad.